In this video, we will discuss the UK MLA in the following manner. To start off, what is UK MLA? It stands for United Kingdom Medical Licensing Assessment, which according to GMC, will be the new assessment by early 2024. UK MLA is designed for and will be a requirement for all UK medical graduates and IMGs alike. As such, IMGs will be expected to have similar skills and knowledge as those who graduated in the UK. How will the assessment be done? Like TAB, there are two parts to UK MLA, Applied Clinical Knowledge Test or AKT and Clinical and Professional Skills Assessment or CPSA. AKT will replace PLAB1 and will be made of multiple choice questions. This will be held four times a year at set locations internationally for IMGs. Passing this is a requirement for CPSA. Meanwhile, CPSA will replace PLAB2 and will similarly be conducted like an OSCE, and it will be held at the GMC's Clinical Assessment Center in Manchester. Next, we'll discuss what will be covered in the UK MLA. GMC developed a content map for the assessment, which currently has six domains. You can learn more about these domains in the link in the description below. How much will the cost be? As of writing, no fees have been posted on GMC's website. Similar to PLAB 1 and 2, the validity of AKT and CPSA is up to two years from the date of each exam. As per GMC, the same requirements for PLAB will be used for UK MLA. Therefore, proof of English fluency will still be a prerequisite. Now what happens if you've taken PLAB when UK MLA starts? If you've already passed both PLAB 1 and 2, you will still be eligible to apply for registration in the UK within two years from sitting near PLAB 2. If you've only passed PLAB 1 and UK MLA is already in effect before you can take PLAB 2, then you will be required to take CPSA instead. Your PLAB 1 will serve as your AKT. If you've failed PLAB 1 before the implementation of UK MLA, the number of attempts for PLAB 1 will be counted towards the maximum number of attempts of AKT. This number has not yet been decided by the GMC, but for comparison's sake, you can only attempt PLAB 1 for 4 times. Likewise, previous attempts at PLAB 2 will be counted towards the maximum attempts of CPSA. For up-to-date information on UK MLA, please visit the GMC website.